So for our second exercise, we are going to uh, create a new program, chapter seven math methods. Uh, you should allow the user to input two numbers from the council. Uh, and then you can validate the input to ensure that integer values were entered. So the validation should be identical to what we did in exercise one. And since I walked through that whole process with you, uh, I'm going to assume you remember how to do that. <laughs> so it's going to be identical. Okay. Um, and once you have validated the numbers, then you will call math.max uh, and print the number that is larger. Uh, and then you'll call math.min, print the number that is smaller. Now, the most efficient way to do this, and this kind of comes down to coding style, okay? So you've got two numbers and you want to print which one is bigger. You can do this right in a right line statement. You don't have to store anything. And you can say larger number is and then right inside the curly braces, you can call math.max. And you can send it the first and the second number. And it will call the method and it will return the results to this location. So it will return the larger number, which will then print out in place. Okay. And so you can do the same thing with math.min, math.pow. Okay, math.pow, you are going to raise the first number to the second power. So uh, I would change this a little. I would say, and one, show them the number raised to the second power is. And then it's just math.how. And you give it N1, and then you give it A2. And you're going to do the same thing for the second number. So this is basically a copy-paste. You're changing N1 to N2, and that will be raised to the second power. Okay. Uh, so as you go through here, I don't think you're going to have any trouble uh, but if you are confused about what to do, uh, click on this and take a look at this example. This is much more complex than what you guys are doing. Okay, And here you can see we're calling math.max and we're storing the result. You guys don't e you do not have to store the result. All you have to do is print it and, you know, calling right within this right line will do that. Okay, so this uh, kind of shows you how to use all of them with random numbers. Uh, so what you guys are doing is actually simpler than that. Okay, and then when you get down to uh, this instruction, uh, you basically need to see if the second number is greater than zero. And if it is, you are going to divide the first number by the second number and display the result along with the remainder. There's two different ways to display the remainder. Uh, you can use the modulus, which I think is easy, <laughs> or you can use math.divrem for you know division remainder. Uh, so how that is going to look, it's gonna look something like this. If your number two is greater than zero, okay, if that is true, okay, then you can do your council that right line, uh, something like this. So number one, kind of display the equation, number two equals, and then we can actually Put the division in here with a remainder of, and then we can do 
You can either do math.divrem or you can just do N1 modulus N2 or number two. Okay. And that's really all you have to do there for the if, but then you should do an else and then write out that you couldn't do the division. Uh, since the second number is zero, I could not do the division. Or something like that. Okay. So that is exercise two. Um, this is some sample output. Uh, this is some sample output where the second number was zero.